As the Earth's population continues to grow and develop, our limited freshwater resources become increasingly scarce. We are fortunate that the Earth's oceans offer an alternative and can provide a sustainable supply of potable water. Seawater can be economically and reliably converted to potable water through a process known as seawater reverse osmosis. The process starts by extracting water from the ocean using wells located on the shoreline or by using an intake structure located in the open ocean. Osmosis is a naturally occurring process where a solvent, such as water, passes through a semi-permeable barrier. The semi-permeable barrier, or membrane, allows some things to pass through it, but not others. In nature, the direction of flow through the membrane is from a less concentrated solution, such as fresh water, to a more concentrated solution, such as seawater, until equilibrium is reached. Reverse osmosis is when the opposite occurs. By pressurizing the concentrated solution, the seawater, we are able to force water molecules to pass from the salty seawater solution through the membrane to the fresh water. To protect the reverse osmosis membranes from becoming clogged by solid particles that can be suspended in the seawater, the seawater is filtered before passing through the membranes. This is accomplished by using multimedia filters, which are tanks or vessels containing a series of layered granular materials. These materials can be anthracite, garnet, sand, pebbles, and or gravel, which are assembled in layers. The filters remove sand, twigs, seaweed, and other particles from the seawater. In some cases, other types of membranes, known as ultrafiltration and microfiltration membranes, are used instead of multimedia filters to pretreat the seawater. Next, the filtered seawater travels to the cartridge filters, which act as a second stage of filtration. Cartridge filters used for seawater reverse osmosis are typically made from a yarn-like synthetic material that is wound into cartridges. These remove even smaller solid particles from the seawater, such as fine sand and clay, before the seawater proceeds to the reverse osmosis membranes. High pressure pumps increase the pressure of the seawater up to 1,000 psi. The pressure needs to be sufficiently high to overcome the naturally occurring osmotic pressure and force water from the saltwater side through the reverse osmosis membranes to the freshwater side. The salt particles in the seawater are rejected from passing through the membrane to the freshwater side and remain behind on the concentrated saltwater side. 